it, what Saga's advocating for here is a um, would, would the term Empire of the Good work for this? No. <laughs> I mean, because it is something that any, Sargon has, has talked about a lot in the past. The, 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 like, I suppose, I suppose another, another one of the things that he said, don't like perfect be the enemy of good. If you're trying to get a perfect system, it may last a day or a week or a month or a year or 10 years, but it will eventually go straight past good because you weren't trying to hold it at good. You were trying to hold it far higher than you can ever expect it to. If you implement if, a good system, it may actually last. You know, Uzlu, I hate to keep harping on this. But that is why it doesn't say perfect. That is why it says more perfect. Yeah, that's uh, because I think probably a pretty good interpretation. The, the, well, that that is the intention of that mm. uh, of that phrase. It, it 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 it's in order to create a more perfect union is there because the founding fathers knew that we that they. And the people that came after them and the people that came after them, et cetera, et cetera, up until the point where we are and going farther, farther forward, long past us. No one is perfect. No yeah. one is perfect. Yeah. And because we are not perfect, anything we create is not going to be perfect. Mm. So don't try to make something that's perfect. Try to make something that's good enough and a little bit better than what you inherited. You're building a, a, a platform that doesn't get in the way of people figuring it out for themselves. Yeah. Let's continue. But yeah, like what he's advocating for is almost exactly the current progressive mindset. Mm -hmm. Just with a different code. It's of paint. just exactly. He is advocating for the exact same stuff that he claims to be fighting with a different coat of paint. Mm. And you will notice. If you break down a lot of these Lolberts and a lot of these monarchists and a lot of these authoritarian, a lot of these people who worship Molbug and uh, 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 Hans Hermann Hoppe and stuff like that, you will notice that they are that that what they are advocating for the meat and potatoes of what they want is the exact same end result as either what we have now or what. The people who are currently in charge, authoritarian collectivists, want for themselves with just a different coat of paint on it, with a mm. couple of different proper nouns and a couple of different adjectives. You, mm. you, you might not like it, but it's the truth. Stop fiddling with it. I hope, I hope <laughs> that I've misunderstood something and that Sargon is, being, is, is more reasonable than he seems, but I guess we'll see. That will not be equal, but it could be fair. And it will be unfair if we're treated equally in this circumstance. Okay. Uh, what constitutes fairness? There is no deontological standard. I know that's going to make you really upset. <laughs> so, I, so I think it's going to make so, the citizens so, really upset, Sargon. Think, think, think about what he just said. Yeah. I want fairness. Okay. I want legal. I want it in, in, in stone. I want mm -hmm. legally state-enforced fairness. Okay. Well, what's fairness? Well, there's no actual definition. He wants. I'm sorry. Let's, what? Let's be honest. <laughs> Sargon wants vengeance. Yes, and justice is not vengeance. Mm. Justice is justice, and that is why that pretty lady is blindfolded. Yeah, she wants revenge. Mm. He does not want justice. What he wants is not a justice system. What he wants is the people that he disagrees with strung up by, by the neck, proverbially or literally. Mm. And wait, R Uzulu, remind me who else wants to... Uzulu, look, pop quiz, hotshot. Let's see if this sounds familiar. Die, cis, scum. Whiteness needs to be eradicated. Does any of this sound familiar? Mm-hmm. Does any of... Everything is racist, everything is sexist, and you need to point it all out? Mm-hmm. Does this sound like, does this sound familiar? It's it's a it's a it's a certain kind of trap to just become a competitor to your enemy's evil rather than being good. Yep. And that is that that is one of and and here here's the thing. This was one of the curveballs for this stream. I knew this was going to I I I want this was one of the big things I wanted you to see. Mm -hmm. This was one of the big ones. Like, yes, dev will be cringe later. 
But I warned you right off the bat, Dev's mm. not the only one that's bad in this. Yeah. And Zen Man, it doesn't sound uh, similar in terms of which side it supports, but the principles are there. And it's, it's, it's just a little down the road. Um, it's, mm -hmm. it's where Sargon's ideas will lead, not just in 100 years, but in like 10, if he were to well, implement these ideas. And, and here's another thing. Here's another thing. Uzulu, okay, well, we want fairness, right? Well, you see, Uzulu, because my people were enslaved for 240 years by evil white people, uh, it is only fair that I get better treatment, that I get a higher wage than white people. It's only fair that I get better treatment in, when I am arrested for petty larceny than a white person does. It's only fair that, that, that this happens over white. It's only fair. It's only fair. It's only fair. No, no. That is why fairness is really bad news. Mm. That's why you don't want fairness. You want equality under the law. Everyone is treated equal, regardless of things you cannot control. Mm. Um, Madam, Madam, Sargon is not arguing from pragmatism. He's arguing from momentary um, uh, like uh, strategizing. He's arguing from an intent to uh, solve the problems of today without thinking at all about how he's going to solve the problems of tomorrow. What Wes and I are advocating for do both. They solve the problems of today and they stay solving problems tomorrow. What Sargon's talking about is an, uh, he's, he's become so intent upon solving the problems of today that he gets too aggressive in, in, in his intent to do so, gets bad ideals, because he's also talking about ideals, and then fails to build a society that solves problems of tomorrow to such an extent that in fact 10 years hence these problems have become materially evil. And any amount of, uh, any amount of as, as Ronald says, if you kill your enemies, they win. That's not, that's not what we're saying. What we're saying is if he kills his enemies and he wins using these strategies, you will be killed in 10 years for disagreeing with what he does next using these same strategies. You and us and all of us. And again, we're not saying killing files and Soros and, and like the, the truly evil ones is an abhorrent way to end this conflict. If that's what it takes, maybe that's acceptable. What we're saying is, like, rank and file disagreement of pe people that simply disagree with him in this vengeance system, maybe he would not request their hanging or their killing. Maybe the judges under him wouldn't, but they would treat those people in accordance with their own brand of fairness, which would be unequal, materially unfair, given the right circumstances, and those right circumstances would emerge quite quickly. Um, it's sacrificing everything that makes your country work, everything great about your, the entire history of the foundation of your nation, of your people, just to win a momentary victory, mostly in your own head, but then you just become what your enemy were. Adam, without long-term guiding principles, you have nothing. If you don't, if you don't let your short-term actions be guided by your long-term principles, then you have nothing. So yes, we are arguing long-term guiding principles because if you don't have that, then you're an anarchist. <laughs> and, and guess what happens to anarchy? Anarchy leads to des despotism. And I don't want that. <laughs> there is a distinct possibility that this, uh, this, the spreading of this particular ideology could be a deliberate sabotage of the uh, yeah. MAGA slash libertarian populist conservative oh, movement. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It absolutely could. I'm not saying it 100% is, but it is a very mm. strong possibility, which again is why you cannot violate your long-term principles. Mm. Because uh, if you do, then you will be easily defeatable in, in, in the future, in five, 10 years. Yeah. If you have any doubt of this, look at the, look at the, uh, look at the Occupy. Look at what happened in Occupy back yeah. in 2012. You know, they were, they had a good, they had a lot of people they had a lot of support. They had support from the quote unquote left and the quote unquote right. They had a lot. They, they were they, there was a very strong undercurrent of growing popular support. And then what happened? You had a bunch of people going in, barking and clapping and saying and, and saying the same the, uh, and saying a bunch of woke garbage. And next thing you know, catch up the human bodied person. And and progressive stacks were all were were, were what uh, were, were were is what 
all of what uh, of what the Occupy movement was. It was no longer about, hey, these people in Wall Street who are illegally deciding what what, what our futures are, these small elite oligarchical people who claim to be either red or blue uh, are actually working together to decide the future of our government. Hey, these people who are constantly getting us in wars with each other and with foreign nations in order to line their pockets, maybe they're the actual problem. Oh, what's mm. that? Uh, well, 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 what's that? Google search. Huh. It's weird how right when that started becoming a popular thing, d- the the uh, search terms about racism and inequality and all that stuff started skyrocketing. Mm. They are trying to divide you. They are trying to distract you. And they're doing it again. Mm. There's a populist movement out there that's genuinely aiming for change. And they're let you are letting them distract you. And it's having great success so far in at least some places. Yeah. So um, I want to make it very clear again that what Sargon is advocating for, he's not exchanging long term (laughs) success for short term success and like focusing more on short term success. He is abandoning long term success for a short term solution that will not work. By comparison, what we're advocating for are, are methods that within classical liberal values will produce a short-term success. We already have the fully correct formula here, but then after that short-term success, we need to change almost nothing at all to get long-term success. Sargon has, with, with what he's advocating for here for, neither. What we're advocating for has both. We're not talking about an, an alternative of we need to survive, yes, our method allows for that. Sargon's does not. Sargon's allows you to feel like you're getting vengeance, and then you will mm-hmm. fail. Our method allows you to feel like you are... Fe- fe- feelings as matter. Allows you to rebuild what is what makes a society work every single time, especially in a high-trust society. Deportation is well within <laughs> classical liberal principles, by the way. Oh, absolutely. And then yep. it lasts for 100 years, 200 years, 1,000 years, whatever else. What Sargon's advocating for here is is nothing but the feeling of vengeance, and then you fail. Yep. And to Zen, uh, I wasn't necessarily saying Sargon's literally <laughs> advocating for killing his enemies. The point is that that's what the justice system, quote unquote, becomes if it is no longer a justice system, if it is indeed a vengeance system, whether Sargon's in charge or not, and whether killing should be taken literally or not. <laughs> 